I also have this in my arsenal. Okay, okay, well, this is what I'll do for you. That's the tone. Okay, look, this, this is what I'll do. If you have a good email, I'll just shoot you my information and you can keep it on file if you ever need it. Do you hear the way that's said in the tone? It's like, okay, well, I hear what I'll do for you. And it's really easy and unassuming because you're not really giving me nothing. I'm giving everything to you. You just, what's a good email? I'll shoot you my information because I don't really want your information. And then you can have it on file if you ever need it. Really smooth, guys. Really smooth. I know exactly where, you're, where your career is headed because of the way that you communicate. Yeah. Just the way that you communicate with people and really connect. And you got the, you do, you got the right tone and the pauses and the speed and everything, man. The way that you communicate is just top notch, first class. And that is the number one skill. I need to watch Marquess Branson's video, like seriously, like 15 times. This is groundbreaking, like life-changing stuff when you listen to this guy talk. I'm serious. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Tone Tuesdays, where I break down some of my cold calls and I help you become better at collecting emails for your database of clients. If you're new here, my name is Marquez Branson, and I'm a first-year agent here in Dallas, Texas. If you aren't familiar, I use the philosophies taught by Ricky Carruth, and by doing so, I've been able to close 15 deals my first year in the business. I'm gonna go ahead and link his channel and also one of my live cold call sessions in the cards so you guys can go check that out. So the point of our cold call sessions is to make a great first impression and collect some data from our potential clients. Reason being is we want to add as many people to our database to send our weekly email for life and build our personal brand. Here is an example of one of my emails. I use a website called Flowdesk, which is very similar to something like Constant Contact. I'm able to create memorable emails which I send to my database weekly to stay top of mind. If you want to start implementing a weekly email, I'll post my affiliate link below so you can start with a free trial to try Flowdesk for yourself. So without further ado, y'all, let's hop right into these calls and I'm going to help you maneuver through some of the challenges that people have with cold calls in order to collect that email, collect that information so you can then have a potential client for your future business. Hello? Hey, Mr. Harris? No, wrong number. So right here, we realize this is the wrong number, not the right person, right? So what we're going to do next is really, really important, right? Uh, what we want to do is peak the prospect's interest, right? This is the wrong number. We're calling for a LaShondra Harris, right? And I said, whenever I hear a male voice, when it's a woman's name, I then say, okay, may I speak to Mr. Harris, right? And at that point, he says, no wrong number. Okay, okay, man, this number is linked to this property on so-and-so drive. Does that ring a bell is usually what I respond with. What that does is it piques their interest because it's like, oh, why is my number linking to this property, huh? Who is this calling about this, right? It gets them in that frame of mind of wanting to know more. That's the reason I do that. Okay, this number is linked to this property on Blue Sage Drive in Lancaster. Is that right, Bell? Yeah, no, nah, man, that's whole oh, property number. I, I get, I get this all the time, guys. Oh, oh man, man. Oh, no. I got you. So at that point, oh, okay, now now we've got a little bit of understanding. We're building rapport because we both are trying to figure out what's going on, right? He then says, oh yeah, I get these calls all the time. Oh, and then I repeat, oh, you get these calls all the time? Huh, that's interesting, right? That's the tone. Hmm, that's crazy. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder why that is, you know? Because he's, he's wondering the same thing. So we want to be on the same playing field in that arena. Okay, man, no worries. Well, hey. If you're ever in the real estate market, maybe you want to buy or sell a house, do you have a good agent that you work with? We built a little rapport. Now we want to make sure our transitions are super smooth, right? So we just moved on from there. Okay, well, hey, if you're ever in the real estate market <laughs> and you might want to buy or sell a house, right? You need to throw that in there because it, then it makes it relevant to that person, right? If you're ever in the real estate market and you might want to buy or sell a house, do you have a good agent that you work with, right? Oh man, I'm not even near that area. I'm not. I'm not even near buying house. Me love I'm, I'm, I'm nowhere near anything like that. So. Right. So his response is, "Oh, I'm not. I don't even live over there. Uh, I'm not even nowhere near there." That has nothing to do with us, right? It has nothing to do with what we're asking for, right? We're asking, does he have a good agent whenever he decides to buy a property, whenever he decides to sell a property? That could be 10 years from now. We don't know. 
he doesn't even seem to know. So it's not about, oh, I don't even live anywhere. That That's not what I'm asking you, sir. I'm asking you, do you have an agent that you work with? Right? So watch what I come back with with that. I got you. Okay, well, hey, it's going to be five, that. 10 years from now. I plan on, you know, selling houses for quite some time. So, hey, would it be a great idea if we stayed in touch? Maybe I can help you out 10 years from now. He's already basically told us that he's not thinking about buying property for some time, right? So I'm going to play off of that, right? I want to play off of that. Okay, well, hey, man, maybe five, 10 years from now, you know? Everybody, who knows what happened in five, 10 years? That's what a person is thinking. Maybe five, 10 years from now, you might want to do something. You think, does that, does that sound like, you know, fair? Does that sound reasonable? Maybe five, 10 years, you might want to buy a house. Does that sound reasonable? That's the tone that goes into that. And you need to really portray that because it, it lands really well for them watch what he says all right i'll hold the number okay i get that all the time i make it make sense it makes sense to them so they say all right okay well i'll just keep your information i got your number okay okay well i can do you one better man if you have a good email i'll just shoot you my info and then you just have it on file in case you ever need it right the key is to make it seem like you're just gonna get their information and send them an email so they have it, and if they ever need to come back to it, they can just search it up in their in their Yahoo, they can search it up in their Gmail, they can search it up in any of these places and be able to find your information, but it's very not invasive on the people as far as data collection, because when you start asking for people's personal information, if you haven't set it up correctly, then they start to get a little pushback, a little pullback, and they don't wanna do so. Okay, I can do you one better, man. If you have a good email, I'll just shoot you my info and you just have it on file if you ever need it. All right, sounds good. Okay, what's a good email for you? So, as soon as he says, all right, sounds good, don't go doing a bunch of talking. Don't start doing this whole other stuff or talking about phone numbers or anything like that. Once they say, all right, that's cool. Okay, what's a good email for you? Straight into it. All right, it's gonna be cheap. And then I collect the email. So it's really key to understand how all of these work and how you can really use your tone, use the way you're trying, use your transitions and all, just to make sure that you are setting it up to make it easy for them to go ahead and give you that information. So if you made it to the end of the video, guys, I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on because I will be dropping new videos. I have some day in the life that are coming up. They're going to be really cool. Um, I really want to add as much value to everyone, especially the people who watch Ricky Carruth. If you watch that channel, this is going to be a supplemental channel that you can really gain some knowledge from the intricacies of cold calling, how I'm doing with deals that I'm getting. And because most of my deals that I've gotten this year are from my database from cold calling. So I appreciate you guys. And as always, stay beastly.